So we can take down all that. First one Frostbite, second one kills our stuff. The Anivia 2 damage thing. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Karma. This is going to be our next donation deck of the day. This is a control deck with both Karma and Anivia. It's going to be uh, trying to get enlightened. As you can see, Karma levels up whenever you're enlightened and Anivia levels up when you're enlightened as well. So putting those two together, we'll have some ramp to help them get enlightened with Weirding Stones and Catalyst of Aeons to help get us there. And once we're enlightened with Karma, Karma will uh, double cast your spells. And that's going to be a combo with Winter's Breath. Three copies of this. Kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. But if you double cast this, the first one will frostbite all the enemies, and the second one will kill all the enemies. So it's a seven mana, one-sided uh, ruination with your enlightened Karma in a play. We'll have Scatter Pod that can help draw that. Um, as well, but then we'll have you know like our enlightened Nivia attacking and doing a bunch of damage and clearing up the board and things like that. So um, interesting looking uh, deck list here. Let's give it a try. We'll go play five games in ranked. Okay, we got Silver LeBlanc for our first deck. Let's see how we do. I think we're gonna keep this. We got you know ramp ramp. Try to get enlightened faster and get the Anivia down afterwards. Brittle Steel is just is just a pretty good card against both champions. More so LeBlanc because of the spell shield with the Sivir. But it can be like a one mana save five damage kind of card. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. I think I'm gonna take it. I'd like to be able to double spell to be able to help out help get draglings and stuff. Places to go, people to be. Alright, good opener for them. Six mana right now. A storm approaches. Yeah, it's saving Brittle Steel for fight spells. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm kind of thinking that too. They go fight spell like like bloody business. And then we Brittle Steel. I think it's just like I think that's a good card to have though. You know, like a one mana. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be definitely worth one mana. Shape what you want without mercy. I bring the storm. My desert, my rules. Strike them down. Okay. I saw that a mile away. I was gonna say that that took that was like a little bit of a break there. I was like, shouldn't we begin an egg right about now? A bit rough around the edges, aren't we? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. So LeBlanc's about to level up. So I could, I could, you know, Winter's Breath and also Brittle Steel. Um, that's an option. I don't know if that's all that's. So that's basically spending eight mana and two cards just to take zero damage this round. These old eyes and I could just block hard. with Sentry and Tail of the Dragon. My move. Surprised to see me. Look out for reavers. 
Another catalyst. Mm. All right, well, that's not so great. That That's the reason why to go for like the Winter's Breath play because of that card. This will take the chill off. Would really like to be able to play both Winter's Breaths in the same round. Business as usual. Let's talk about your dad. They are playing very slow. What news from the West, Lord Malak? A golden crown soon to be broken. We need another champion, especially a karma. It's a living. How how much? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that worried about the LeBlanc right now. Yeah, they have they just have a million cards, right? Like we're Spike cards. So even if I would have played the frostbite cards more aggressive, I don't think that like with with the different card draw they had with, you know, Preservarium, Whisper Words, that kind of stuff, and all the cards they had, I, I don't think we're we just don't have any power. Drawing Weirding Stones and Eye of the Dragons. Especially in the late game, they're just—they're not, not doing anything. Okay, so Twisted Fate Swain. I think I like this matchup. I think. Yeah, that kind of matchup. Yeah, we need avalanches and ravines and that kind of stuff. We also just don't have the card advantage to hold up with them. You know, they had a lot more card advantage than we did. We had zero cards that drew a card last game. See the from they had multiple cards drawing two. And so with, between Spell Shield and lots of card draw, we didn't. That was going to be a tough one to, tough one to hang with. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Man, can we buy an avalanche? Can we buy an avalanche? Look out for reavers. I'm gonna go Catalyst over Weirding Stones. I feel like if I, I play Weirding Stones, they may... Um, culling Strike it. Of course, they could still Culling Strike at any time. 
I do have the backup of Nevia if this one dies. Okay, so this is trading Anivia for Death's Hand and House Spider and Krusty Codger. Not bad. They have five cards over there, I have seven. You want Flash Freezer and Tomb. You want F you think Fury of the North block? Would put three damage on the Swain, Fury of the North block. It keeps my three mana for the Weirding Stones, and that's what I wanted to play this round was Weirding Stones. Merely Empire above all! I will break them. Here in your time of need. Gotta go with the flow. Leave your bags at the door. Okay, we got leveled up in Nivia. Now I still got Mina. Love, of course, the Mina plus Go Get It combo of like how we can triple bounce and return it and triple bounce again the next round. Like they go Leviathan here. We put them all back in their hand. I protect this place. Okay, or not. We can just pass, because if they end the round, we get to attack with the Nibia and kill both of these things. Okay. Fine, and Nibia can come back. I'm not sure how... how do, I'm not sure how Go Get It works with Egg Nibia. Not exactly sure. I'm always up for a round or two. Badly. <laughs> okay, well, we won't rely on that then. This is our time. I don't know why Tavern Keeper doesn't attack, but it doesn't matter if it attacks because they just block it anyway. All right, so that will wipe out their board. And we still have Swiftfoot go get it for later. So that's good. That's not bad. Yeah, thinking about doing the harsh harsh winds winter's breath, but like we're we're only killing a Swain sentry, so yeah, we have that combo also, like where we harsh winds for six and then winter's breath. So we, we would kill Swain and Sentry. Maybe not. So 
We're down to two cards. One card. Snow, wind, and ice. What am I drawing with that scatter pod? What are we trying to draw? So slow spell would get us, we have two Winter's Breaths and one Dawn and Dusk. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I'm drawing, drawing slow. Cool. Dawn and Dusk for Anivia. That's exactly what I wanted. They're tight. But it's not damaged. So why would you play Scorched Earth on it? When it's obviously not damaged. Alright, they were they had no cards in hand. I sh I should have just dawn and dusk right there, probably, and just get the get the two Anivias, but yeah, we good. Yeah, they had no shot. We had you know, different combos that if they would have ever had anything threatening. That one was locked up. Keyboard gets 20. Action Victor. I like it. This is going to be a cool deck. Basically any Victor deck's cool. Basically. Gone. Gone, gone. I think we'll probably keep Anivia. I could see sending the Anivia back, though. We're not a very good Eye of the Dragon deck. Like, we're just not really built around Eye of the Dragon. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, we, we could maybe you know maybe having avalanches or blighter ravines instead of the eye, eye of the dragons will work out better. Wonder is there a different like two mana blocker that's better? I mean, we could also you could also play um what's the name? Maybe play one of the. I guess we. I guess we. We do have weirding stones already at three. Also, but another option is the the four two life steal in Ionia. What the name of that card is? That's an option. Starlet Seer is an option. But well, probably not a very good one. Starlet Seer with Anivia isn't always the best. Hey, Michael, first two games. Um, the first one, we kind of got ran over out card advantage and didn't really have too much to do. But then the second one, we completely dominated and just. <laughs> really ran Twisted Fate Swain out of cards and had all sorts of cool stuff. So neither game's been too too close yet. <laughs> Tasty Faithful. There we go. There, there's that's the name of the card. Yeah, they don't exactly know that we don't have Avalanche. I haven't figured out exactly how we're dealing with these Nandroids yet. But this isn't good Ballistic Bot creating ignitions for Nandroids. Against a lot of decks, that's way too slow, but against us... That's really scary, because we don't we don't have removal. Yeah, we, we probably need some Blighter Ravines or Avalanches in this deck. I, am superior life form. I guess you can't play Avalanche if, if we want... Avalanche is slow speed, and so like if we want Scatter Pod to draw Winter's Breath... See, I guess that's a that's another reason to play Blighter Ravine. Good people don't look the other way. But we kind of need those cards. I 
Ionia speaks through me. All right, gonna play Karma to try to get the create random spell in hand each round. Yeah, Weedering Stones is not good, but mm, it's been all right for us in these games. It was pretty good last game. Not so good the game before. It's like this This is kind of the problem with Weedering Stones, right? Like anytime you draw it after round three, three like later on, it's, it's kind of rough. But I mean, it will, Look out for Reavers. It will help us... See, I'm gonna wait to the oven. We can save more life with this afterwards. Okay. I could do some work. Insight of Ages. Can you improve perfection? More random cards. Welcome to the tipsy owl. Alright, so we gotta play Weirding Stones here. And now, next round will be um, Enlightened. So, gotta hope that they don't go straight to combat. That they play something before combat next round. I was hoping we draw a frostbite spell, like a harsh winds would be perfect. No reason not to straight combat. I mean, I guess if you are worried about worried about frostbite cards, like harsh winds, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. Not too much reason not to straight combat, but we gotta hope. Frostbite? Oh, homecoming. Okay. All right, we can homecoming and flash freeze. Take it out into two elusives that way. Peace begins within. I guess we weren't round start enlightened, but we were round start enlightened here. Now, my biggest hope is that they don't have Sharima Deny. So we can take down all that. First one Frostbites, second one kills their stuff. How would we bait Deny with an attack? Just denying the... The Anivia two damage thing. I'm kind of planning on killing them right here. They do get to make, make the burst speed blocker. Yeah, three, six, eight, fourteen, sixteen. Even like with two blockers, we do sixteen damage. If they just play like blocker, blocker, it's sixteen. Got it. 
one's on the house. It's just... It's risky. Oh, it's not risky. Never mind. I was going to say because they, they kill my karma, but they don't kill the karma because of the spatial storm. So they only have two cards we don't know about. Only two cards to save them. I'm gonna go for it. So that's 16 damage. There we go. GG. Draven as real. So we want to go stones on three. They don't kill it. Stones on three allows me to go Catalyst and Tavern Keeper on four. If they don't kill it. Or Karma on four. You can go Karma on four either way though. Hmm. I guess with Brittle Steel. Come on in. Killing Draven seems important. Let's book it. I've got meat bigger than you. Thing is, I guess they could have Mystic Shot plus Spinning Axe. Alright, cool. Suck. Let's take this outside. Morning, Gamma. Good morning. Wow. Discard Ezreal. We just got rid of a Get Excited and an Ezreal from their hand for that Weirding Stones. That's a great Weirding Stones. Man, how good is their hand? Their worst card in their hand is Ezreal. They gotta have a lot of other Ezreals in hand, right? Like, that's automatic. We know that. The spirit gives to those who listen. Anything else? <laughs> We'll see if we can bait out like a Mystic Shot or a Ravenous Flock on the Eye of the Dragon. Alright, now we get the Dragling. Breathe in, breathe out. I hope they can't kill Karma. Where there is life, there is hope. We've already gone through a lot of cards that would kill Karma. But I want to start creating I'm playing Karma because I want to start creating the random spells in our in our regions. Got me good. Cool. Key Guardian. They attack out, I'm blocking five, one, four, three, taking five. Alright, now we could just Winter's Breath, or I go Key Guardian plus Tavern Keeper. I guess either way I can do the, the Key Guardian. Well, that makes me want to Winter's Breath. Then I play Den Mother next round. Slow them down for a round. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Gotcha. All 
All right, so there's the other Ezreal that we knew about. No draggling. I wanted that draggling. Succumb to the cold. Man, is it possible to even wait on Den Mother? I guess it is. Technically. Because after the Winter's Breath, then I'm going to also have Swiftfoot. Like, I am already already have, like, a good amount of things to do after this Winter's Breath. It's, it's, we should just get the Ramping Pack in. Free attack. Free attack. I love um, three sisters with with leveled up karma. I kind of wish we had more three sisters in our deck. <laughs> we are really getting some cold cards to come to the cold, cold resistance. Their karma is taking this winter karma to heart with the, with the random cards it's creating. But anyway, because three sisters, you get to make two of them. So I do like that. They do create the same card for you. This is the fun part. One shot, all skill. All right. So we can go flash freeze. Flash freeze. Man, I can't stop that. Two targets for Ezreal. So now they get the Mystic Shot also. So I got two decimates and two random cards. Come on in. Basically, I was thinking like if they had Stun Spider, I don't want to play like a Nivea, then they Stun Spider it. Still had set up perfectly. Let's take this outside. All right, I should have healed my Nexus, I guess, with the. Yeah. That static shock draw. This looks bad. I I should have gone. So basically, I I really regret going with the frostbite. How I, I frostbite Captain Fair and frostbite bit Ezreal. I really wish I would have gone with the. Whatever the 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 thing to put the landmark, you know. I wish I would have just captured Ezreal as a landmark. That's that's really what I should have done with that three sisters. That was a big mistake. Watch and learn. That was a big mistake. Freeze the fire. Okay, well, we got to kill the Ezreal. Very good. So yeah, that Ezreal would have dealt a bunch more damage to us with them casting the spells all the time. Witness perfection, meatbags. Prime and ready. Just attack, open attack. For my homeland. People say attack. Okay. 
So we have Catalyst to, to help our Nexus if they burn us. Cool. We have the Cold Resistance for the plus zero, plus two if they have, you know, like a Get Excited or whatever they would kill, like the Tavern Keeper, for example. Until our paths cross once more. All right, three and one. I don't... Okay, I guess I didn't know that Mino would recall landmarks. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Because, yeah, that that would have been... Somebody said that you could entomb and then Mina and bounce the landmarks. But I didn't I didn't think... Yeah, I didn't think it bounced landmarks. All right, Misfortune Gangplank. This is going to be rough. They're going to be super aggressive. Um, I like my hand, though. As far as hands can go, I guess we just keep all of it. I could see sending the Catalyst of Aeons back. Like, I'm probably going to have to, like, Tavern Keeper plus Flash Freeze on three... I'm probably gonna need karma. I like I don't I don't think I'm gonna have time for this catalyst of Aeons. I'm gonna need karma to create to be a blocker that also creates more cards. Uh, I play on the North American server. I live in Texas. They'll never see it coming. Oh, what's up, Cappy? Capybara in space is in here. We just played ya. GG's. That was very close. This one's probably not going to be as close. Not looking good for the home team. Alright, so I can... Tavern Keeper plus Catalyst. So we can take the chill off. And now next round. Palm and Brittle Steel. Neither the flames nor the deaths could claim me. Da, 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 da. Oh no! Why? Why is this lit up? I don't know why this is lit up. Yeah, because whenever they so they attack, they're gonna do two damage to all the battling enemies. Oh, because it kills the keg. That's why it's lit up because it kills the powder keg. That would give me a huge den mother next round. Maybe I just do this. Makes their attack kind of bad. At least worse. Then I can get like a big den mother next round. Saves the damage from the powder keg. <laughs> Everything's in place. Yeah, that's me taking a lot less damage. Because if I would have gone concussive palm plus. Never stop shooting. Sure. So if. if I... If I would have gone Concussive Palm plus Brittle Steel. Yeah, why didn't they just do that in response? I guess they didn't realize that the Powder Keg was going to die. Which is fair. Three out of five. The problem with attacking with these is they get to block with the Grenadier. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. They get to block with the Grenadier, do damage to me, and that helps level up Gangplank. I have my orders. Gross. I don't like your orders. My favorite orders are like ordering some pizza. After Wizard! 52 months! Thanks for keeping that sub going after Wizard. That is our second sub of the day. Time to get that in. All right, so we're gonna stun Gangplank. No. Block Gangplank. Block you, block you. Stun you. At six. Frostbite. You. So that's nine. I guess I could just have that thing. Now that's ten. 
Go to ten. Still lets me lets me play Karma this round. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting old. But we're having fun. Oh, look at that doggo back there. Doing doggo stuff. Alright, so they're going fervor on the ballista. No. Fervor on I think on the ballista? No. You can't tell. I guess on the gangplank. Okay, forever on the gangplank. All right, so down to seven. Oh well, seven. Seven's probably enough. We'll be able to play Karma this round. We can double catalyst, gain six next round. Both champions are out of here. Man, if we can handle this hand that they had. This hand has been ridiculous. If we can actually win with this hand, with this hand that they've had, that would be pretty insane. But I am kind of out of cards. Never mind. I thought I was out of cards. After every winter, spring. I wanted to do that, then pass priority and give them opportunity to play another unit out here. For our Anivia. So we're down to seven. The dragon lives. I'm, I don't want to trade with these because I may need to homecoming the tail of the dragon or more likely probably homecoming this rhyme ping dead mother. For the Empire. Hmm. Down to five. The few for the many. So they're out of cards. There is a combination of cards they can draw that kills me, but I hope they don't. Yes. Welcome to the tipsy hour. I should finish this out. There we go. GG's. What a win. The cycle is complete. Wow. That Rhyme Pink Den Mother did some work those last two games. More work than I was expecting. Winter's Breath looked really good, though. Even when it was just, uh, you know, Frostbite all the enemies. So we take zero. You know, we did that a couple of times. Just basically, you know, fog their turn and don't let them attack because you just need to slow down because you need to have the time for Anivia and Karma. And honestly, those last couple of games, Weirding Stones really did perform well. <laughs> you know, like that last game we got... We got to uh, get enlightened faster and everything. It, it was good. But then the game four, we play Weirding Stones against Ezreal Draven. They're super scared of it. They used to get excited, discarded an Ezreal <laughs> to kill the Weirding Stones. So they were really scared of it. Um, so yeah, that, those cards all overperformed than what I was expecting. Definitely liked having that Concussive Palm. But we just showed that Karma's really powerful, especially when you get your Enlightened Karma. But even before that, round round end create a random spell from your regions and i loved it here with freljord because freljord the random spells are probably going to be like frostbite spells right like that's what that's what uh freljord has and we were making you know just random frostbite cards and things like that you know like succumb to the cold and and you know we're making that and homecoming we made homecoming a couple of times yeah we twice made homecoming that, that were pretty clutch um i think the the, the this is a good region combination for just creating random spells because Freljord has very useful spells for a control deck. So I liked those. The Brittle Steels came in clutch quite a bit. They were good. The Eye of the Dragon wasn't that great. We weren't a very good Eye of the Dragon deck, but there were times that my opponent was worried quite a bit about Eye of the Dragon and that, so they were wasting resources trying to kill Eye of the Dragon instead of um, just ignoring it, which would have been worse for me. So there, there was times that I, the dragon, did some good work with, you know, basically because of that. And it's so cheap. So, 
I liked it. There we go. That was Winter Karma. Definitely felt like a, a powerful uh, top end deck. All right, so anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of this Anivia version of Winter Karma. I've I've been wanting to put this together. I'm, I'm gonna try this again later on in the week without Anivia. We're gonna, we're gonna try out, I'm gonna make it a new version and, and try it out with um, more scattered pods and, and just, and no other slow spells and just try to have scattered pod draw Winter's Breath and then play Entreat and have Entreat be able to get more copies of Karma. We're gonna try that later on. Um, in the week but before that i was i was very impressed with this i thought that this version did quite well so yeah uh leave those comments over there on youtube let me know uh how you like the deck and if you try it out yourself how does it go for you if you're looking for a an anivia deck you know this is this was a pretty good anivia deck so give it a try and then you know as far as karma decks go it was good as well all right but that's gonna be it here for winter karma so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video